Hi, I'm AJ from Grange Hockey Club. We're based in Stockbridge in the north of Edinburgh. Tonight I'm joined by senior internationalist and junior internationalist from our men's first team. In this video we're going to be looking at passing and different passing games and exercises that can be done at home and we hope you enjoy what you see and that you want to pick up a stick after the video. We have our players demonstrating front stick to front stick push passing. This is the easiest pass in hockey. You want to keep the ball flat so it's easy to stop and you do this by keeping your head over the ball and pushing through with your right hand. You keep it accurate by pointing your left foot where you want the ball to go. You can start with the stick on the ball or just behind the ball so it's a nice quick movement. We stop the ball by angling our stick towards the ground and having nice soft hands to cushion it. To make this easier, you can give the stick less of an angle to the ground so there's more surface area. Two players and they start at opposite sides of the box and they must try and keep opposite sides all the way through. It starts with a pass across to the person without the ball and then they can choose which way to go and then they move one side round the box and they pass back to the player who has mirrored their movement. We have set up one box with cones and one with water bottles which you can also do at home. Here, for four people, we have five markers set out in a domino five. The ball starts with the person on this cone in the centre and they can pass to anyone they want. They then move to the empty cone. The next person does the same and then this is repeated again and again. You pass and then you move to the empty cone. Here, we've mixed up hockey and tennis and the aim of this game is to try and score points by bouncing the ball on your opponent's side twice. To make it easier, you can increase the number of touches allowed. It is best to have nice soft hands to get a feel for the ball and you can allow a touch and then a bounce if the game is too hard. It's also advisable that you move your feet towards the ball and that you keep moving. You can use anything with a little bit of height as a makeshift net. We are playing piggy in the middle. Three people must try and keep the ball away from one person by passing and moving around the square. It can be made easier for the people on the outside by ruling the person in the middle can't tackle and can only intercept the ball. We can also give the people on the outside unlimited touches. Whenever the tackler wins the ball, the person they took it from then swaps into the middle. If you don't have enough sticks, the person in the middle can try and catch the person with the ball and then swapping over who goes into the middle. Here, we're playing a game of Wally. This can be done at home with two bins as goalposts, but we would suggest that you use a softer ball. The aim is to hit the ball between the target and make it difficult for the next person. This continues until one person misses the target and then they lose a life. The winner is the only person who has their lives remaining. Here we can see our men use lots of different hitting techniques to get the ball between the target. Hi, thanks for watching our video on passing. We hope you found it really informative and that you want to try something new with, with playing hockey. Grange has got seven men's teams and four ladies' teams. Our men's team is really successful. We play in the in the top league in Scotland and our low, and our sevens team, they play in the local leagues in Edinburgh. If you want to find out more, please visit our Facebook page, our Instagram or email juniorgrangehockey at gmail.com. Thank you.